know you are as ghost. The next matchup is on Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret Hart. And it's going to be awesome. And it's starting at, what's that? 123.23. Ah, so 1 hour, 23 minutes, 23 seconds. And it's going to start in... Oh, here we are. That's, oh, the rocks just left the ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a really weird pan up as well. That's, this is not good camera work. I don't know what they're doing here. <laughs> Did they get that blimp oh, back, did they? Uh, I haven't seen the blimp. There he is. Bear in mind, this is the first time we've seen Brett. God, he looks old, doesn't he? He just, like, Brett Hart just always looked like he'd been, um, just like weather beaten. <laughs> you know? He's just come off the fishing boat. Yeah, he just, look, he looks like a man who is either a lumberjack or a fisherman. Like, yeah, in Canada. Well, I, I suppose in his face he looks like either a lumberjack or a fisherman. Uh, his body, is he doesn't look like a lumberjack, I suppose, because he's he's actually quite trim. Lumberjacks tend to be blocky. Bit, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, like barrel chested. Although he's I, like I know like um like Shawn Michaels, they always go, oh Shawn Michaels is tiny, but they never really say that about Brett because he's he kind of carries like he carries a fair bit of muscle for for yeah. a dude his size, but like not roidy muscle, I don't think. No, no, he's too fucking diligent for that. I don't, I can't, I don't think his dad would let him. Say his daddy give him a whole kind of a whooping for that. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, no, Stu, what are you doing, Stu? You're hurting me. I don't know why I just did. The, you, you, the... You've gone Texas for Canada. Hold on. You said <laughs> Calgary, though. It is Canada's oil country. Yeah. Oh well, I suppose. Yeah. They are Canadian Texans, you know. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Who was that? Was that uh, Pillman. Brian Pillman? Really went for the old ankle there. Right enough, because Pillman um, came to the ring back in King of the Ring. Do you remember? He, he was on his crutches. Yeah. So. And he annoyed Steve by cheering yeah, for yeah, someone else, yeah. didn't he? But then, and then a couple of months. Oh, I, this stuff is just fucking hilarious. I love it. <laughs> he just, yeah, it, it's the fact that he's so yeah, sincere and intense, but everyone around him is this pantomime kind of Ooh, you know I know <laughs> look at you look at fucking sunny in the background like what it's like is having um, I don't know like having a, a bill with the killers and the, the streets and all bands <laughs> beginning with the yeah. and in the middle of it sticking in prime era sepultura <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking jarring like that's what I'm getting at <laughs> Okay, that was the Fratellis. <laughs> now we've got Sepultura. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Just look yeah. at him even stirring it. I don't even know who that guy is. He retired soon afterwards. He's like, he's completely stirring him out. And he's just waiting for him to stop talking so he can say something. Like, he's not even... Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> he's taking it as a person. Look at the old vein popping out and, uh, there. And he's not even... He's not even answering the question. He's just going, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> building this boy up. Do you in know front of me? Yeah, yeah, do you know who I am? <laughs> oh, wow. Look, his, his lips bust as well, isn't it? Looks like it's a wee scar along yeah. there. <laughs> He's great. Do you know that uh, whenever he was in ECW, um, Sandman would have, been, would have been starting. And Sandman's gimmick would have been quite similar to Stone Cold's. That kind of okay. beer drinking, hard talking. I mean, obviously Stone Cold didn't smoke. Yeah. Um, Being but, beer drinking. Yeah, hard, yeah. Smoking, hard talking, not paying child support. <laughs> turning up at his ex-girlfriend's house, just sitting there for six or seven hours, <laughs> not moving until the cops pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Sending her pictures Ooh. with the eyes cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette burns on all the family <laughs> photographs. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I can imagine Sandman being the type of person like he, he's not. You know, I, I think he's he's too wicked to be, and I mean wicked in the bad way, ladies and gentlemen. Too wicked to be the type of guy that would actually turn up and go, "You're a dick." What he might do would be that like she'd turn up in the house and she'd just get through her day as normal, and then maybe a couple of days later she'd find out that someone's taking a shit in her underwear drawer or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real sneaky, sneaky stuff. I just, just, 
<laughs> she looks at her family photos and all the all the faces have been burnt out or Oh oh wrap around glasses. I love the Jesus, that's an awful that symbol on his chest is very SS like, isn't it? It is a little bit of I think to be honest, they're ruined skulls. The dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really put a skull on anything now or an eagle, like falcons. Mm-hmm. Anything like that the Romans would have used or the Egyptians as some kind of talisman for battle yeah. or whatever, you got to stay away from that. Yeah, because I don't understand why... The, I suppose it was probably to scare people why the Nazis did it, though. Because, I, okay, I don't know whether now it's considered evil because they did it or whether it was always considered evil and they did it anyway. It's a, Yeah, it's really... Oh, look at it. Look, he's, look at that. He's got a pinky ring as well. I bet he's just taking some cocaine. Bling. Bling as fuck. Doing bumps off Sonny in the back. <laughs> of course, she would charge $10 per bump. Is he, is he, is he sweating oh, already? Not off her boobs. Not off her boobs. He is sweating beams. already. I, I was trying to listen to the music. I couldn't, couldn't tell whether it was his new. Yeah. Or his, uh, not new, but his kind of famous. Such a such an iconic start. Pick slide, great yeah. stuff. But it's really high pitch pick slide. Like what? How it's would like you even f- do that? Oh, it's like a shit ton of like eighties reverb and shit. Oh, like okay, yeah, yeah. Like nobody, nobody uses that sound like anymore. It's it just it's eighties, early night like um, painkiller. Mm-hmm. Some of the guitar solos on yeah. the painkiller Judas Priest album have that sound. Nobody uses that anymore. But, it's a forbidden yeah. tone. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, this is forbidden. We have retired it. We can no longer use. Oh, look, fireworks are going off. Did they used to call... Oh, fuck, I can't remember now. No, no. Uh, um, I was going to say, did they used to call him Mr. WrestleMania, but I also used to call Shawn Michaels. Yeah. He never really had a Mr. No. He was just Brett the Hitman Hart. Quite happy to murder people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he wouldn't break the rules. Code of Honor. Well, yeah. Stu again. Stu's Canadian probably... Honor, though. Whatever that's worth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he looks like he's a French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he'd just go back around to be an honor again because the French would just be like, we're doing everything different. <laughs> and then just go, oh, look at all the hearts. Ah, uh, that's, that's not very manly, Brett. Oh, Brett. Oh, Brett. Do you see, do you ever see um, him in The Simpsons? Brett Hart? Yep. Ah, uh, Oh, oh, look at that. That's a very... The kid does not give a shit. He just made... Kid don't give a damn. That's it. That's John Cena got that from him, right? Did anybody else you see that before? I give stuff out to the kids? Yeah. I don't think so. I, don't, I think that, that he was probably that well paid that he could afford to throw things at the kids. I don't think anyone else could. Yeah. I think The Rock used to throw out his elbow pad. Yeah, that's true. But it's kind of a more of a fucking take it. Yeah, yeah. I won't be needing this again. But I, I not if this not if this elbow lands. <laughs> <laughs> what I think's interesting is that like the rock used to throw out the elbow pad and people would go bananas for catching it. And now you don't see that reaction with the crowd. Whenever John Cena throws out the t shirt, no one kinda jumps over to grab the t shirt. Yeah. It just kinda lands where it lands. You know? I think maybe because oh, he he's jawing off. I love that. <laughs> I think maybe because he starts it off at the he d- does it at the start of the match, whereas The Rock does it at the climax of the match, at the pinnacle of it. Yeah, yeah. Occasionally he does it twice as well. Oh, fuck. Getting up in his grill. He's got a fucking strong old jaw on Bret Hart, isn't there? Yeah, he looks very looks a bit. Oh, <laughs> blanked out. Ah. Oh, Tim White, you're not uh, gonna let that. You boys, you can't be throwing up the fingers. Do you want some too, boy? Because I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. So this would be... I suppose this would be their first... It's definitely their first PPV match, but it would be their first big match before WrestleMania 13. 13, which is coming up in 1987. Isn't it? Yeah. How long? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 97, 13... Yes, yes, it would be. Yes, yes, yes. No, I always get confused because I always, I always just assume because the first, my man's because the first WrestleMania was in 1985. 
I imagined then that the 15th WrestleMania would be in 2000, but it's not. Because you count the first one being... In 1985. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you know, I know it's one of those things, oh, God, it always gets me. God, I ain't great at maths, but fucking hell. I, I can't count. <laughs> inclusive. Any inclusive numbers. Can't do it. Can't have it. Don't like it. Don't need it. I don't want it. God, you just... just for you. It's actually... That's, ooh. It's quite a nice mix of, like, Stone Cold being, like, a brawler and Bret Hart being, like, a chain wrestler as well. Mm. You see, we're... Even though he was obviously going to go into some sort of move, Stone Cold kind of powered out of it. And you wouldn't really see that. You also see that Stone Cold was like slapping his body there, which is like an old kind of way to tell the opponent where to put pressure on or where to hit next to her. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because he talks about it in his podcast. How you, see, 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 he's slapping his, see? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I was wondering why the fuck they did that. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like a shorthand, basically. So instead of saying something, we'll just do something like that. But, um, I, I, you know, like we don't know what they're saying or we don't know what the code is. So we don't know whether he was saying, now I'm going to twist your arm. Yeah, yeah but okay. I'm going for this arm. Oh! Fuck it. That that you Haley, oh you Wimstone Cold, you would put your hand up, you would beg Clemens <laughs> this early in the match. <laughs> oh, there's the dude back watching, and Bull Cut Kid is going to be there, of course. <laughs> Look at this guy in the front row in the white. Yeah, he just was, just he, just relaxed, just having a chat. He had his eyes on it, and he took it away like like a bored like a bored <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> when will it end? I have seen so much. <laughs> Nothing excites me. Why won't she be mine? <laughs> I wish I was good looking as Douglas. <laughs> Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I think we've talked about it before. Uh, yes, yet, yet another reference. It's all on YouTube. Go home and watch it. You'd think that we only watch like six TV shows on over, repeat. And over and over and over again, but they're, they're just wildly, wildly relevant to everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh God, look. Jesus, don't cold. You're in an awful way. It's a nasty hold. Oh God, yeah, it is. Yeah, there's an awful lot of pressure being put on. Oh, fuck. Like, if he fell badly and he actually yanked Stone Cold's arm up, that's that's like the type of move that the, the cops do. You know, yeah, yeah, they would hold you in that move. And yeah. then, you know, if, if it was America, then they'd shoot you fifteen times. <laughs> <laughs> he was resisting. I, I was standing my ground. He looked like he was going to kill me with his bare hands. Well, to be fair, if Stone Cold did, if you're scared of yeah. Stone Cold, he probably could kill you with his bare hands. Yeah, it's getting it's getting closer and closer to the day where where cops not not just America, but where it's going to be like uh, it's going to be like Streets of Rage, where they, they just pull <laughs> in at the back of the screen, launch off a mortar into the general <laughs> direction, kill everybody there, and drive back to the station. Well, that's another day's work done. <laughs> Got to fill out that paperwork now, though. We can only do it once, though. Yeah, and. and um, Streets of Rage, what always annoyed me was that the, the, obviously player one had an attack and player two had an attack, but the attacks were different but had the same effect. So I think player one was a mortar and I think player two was like a circle of flame. A firebomb, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, but, I mean, police, firebombs, <laughs> what is going on in your city? But that said, you know, like, if someone's brother gets kidnapped, then they go on an absolute rampage over bridges, cities, the beach, and a cargo factory. Lifts. Yes, cargo lifts, uh, bars. Top floor of a hotel, penthouse. <laughs> where you have to fight the reincarnated versions of everyone you fought so far. Yeah. Who, who you like? You definitely killed those people. Those people yeah. are dead. I saw their bodies they disappeared. Yeah, that means they're dead, right? Or or they fell down a, a, a bottomless pit. Okay, yeah. Also, also, also feasible. In fact, it's weird that in the game they never really just look and go, something weird about this. <laughs> the bodies keep disappearing. Are we in a simulation? Are we tripping? And uh, oh, double dragon neon. Which is, uh, it's Double Dragon, but uh, they've redone the graphics and everything. 
and uh, you told me with self awareness. Yes, yes, yeah, a lot of self awareness, yeah. And uh, at the start, whenever you know, because the big bit of the double dragon at the start, whenever the guy pops her in the ch- in the in the stomach and then carries her off, that happens, and the guys appear and go, "Not again!" Her <laughs> 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 princess is in another castle. <laughs> Great princess. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, oh, well, oh. excuse me, hey, princess. princess. Oh, fuck off, Link. If anybody's uh, up for that kind of torture, they only did one season of that, and there's a super cut of every time that Link says, excuse me, princess, in the dreadful Zelda cartoon. And it's so long. There's so much of it. Yeah, and um, I like that, however, that, you know, unlike Super Mario Brothers, the movie, oh, where they... Oh, joke in there. Oh. Where they tried to do like a gritty reboot of it, they they just kind of explained everything That's away. Great. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's great the way he took the bump as well. They kind of explained everything away, and that you know, how does Link have like a boomerang and bombs and and potions, and every and, and sword and everything and shields inside this bag? Oh, it's because they shrink whenever they go into the bag. Pocket dimension bag. Pocket dimension also mallets. Oh, because it wasn't an anime, there were no mallets. Oh, kicking the throat. He he does not he does not pull his kicks or his shots to the throat. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Do they complain? Has anybody ever complained about him like being being stiff? Yeah, uh, I don't think the. I mean, I mean, I think it's been, it's been mentioned loads, but I don't think anyone's actually ever formally complained or said, "Oh, fucking, I hated Stone Cold doing this to me." You know? Yeah. Okay. I think maybe because he was so clear about, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight with you." Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this. Because I know that when, hey, when I interviewed Mr. McMahon, I still call him Mr. McMahon. <laughs> yeah, Vince. When you interviewed Vince, he would say that like you know he's like Vince, you can't take a stunner at all, you know, and I'd be aiming for your for your guts, but every time it hit you in the nuts, you know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'd be very open about the fact that he did. I don't think he'd ever do it on purpose. Well, if Vince going, oh, 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 no more McMahon's coming from me. <laughs> Bear in mind that by this point, Vince would have been pushing 50. Yeah. Like, now he's 69. <laughs> 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 Sex joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, he would have been about 52 at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You take a whooping for a, a man of 52. Steroids, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't... I th- it's all... Like, his... His fitness must be shite, though. I mean, his cardio, or yeah, 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 probably. Um, God, I don't know because the thing is, he never took his shirt off until he went into that match with Austin. You know, the big match he went into where he took out, where he came out in a tank top and he was yeah, built yeah. like a fucking brick shit house. Yeah, and uh, and I had that that brilliant promo where like him and Shane were running in the snow. <laughs> and all, and made it out like he was this old man. He's training like Rocky. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was training like Rocky, but he, he, could, he never rose to the challenge. You know, and she was like, "Come on, come on, Dad, you can do this." And Vince was like, "Oh, I can't, I can't." Oh, no, no. And then he came out and he was fucking massive. And I remember even whenever I, I watched it back in the day, I was thinking to myself, "Fucking hell, he's done some steroids." Like I, I had the self awareness to know that a man cannot be that big. Yeah. Well, not like I suppose, like because he's. Spends most of his time running a company. Like, there's just not enough time to be that fucking ripped if you're, like, and it seems like everything goes through him. You know, he doesn't even really now, delegate. Yeah, even now, everything still goes through him. So he's got to be doing like what, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hour days on that. Got to fucking sleep like dripping. Well, he, um, I remember that Jr. had had mentioned this in his podcast. And he kind of regretted it, but Vince was a workaholic. Like, yeah, Vince would have worked nonstop, and he never took a day off. And I remember him saying, "Jr. said that he said to him something like, you can be sick at home, or you can be sick here.'" So, Jr. just took that to heart and never, never took a day off. But he regrets it now because it exacerbated his yeah, condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, you know. Bell's palsy is nothing to be trifled with, you know, it's really serious. Yeah. And his mother died and he didn't miss a beat. Yeah. 
It's a t- well workaholic. It's the type of holic that society goes. That's a good kind of addiction. Yeah, yeah. It's not though, because you're fucking ruining it for everyone. Because if there's two assholes who are willing to work sixteen hours a day, and everyone else is like, "I have a family. I'd like to do the minimum eight. Thank mm. you." Well, you're the ones that are going to get fired, and the two pricks who'll stay there forever are the ones that keep on. Fuck you, Vince. <laughs> ruining it for everyone, dickhead. <laughs> Look at yeah. <laughs> I, uh, again, the white museum. Yes, entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> My feet will remain up until I feel the need to stand upon them. Mm. <laughs> Jesus, look at him, like <laughs> imperious. Oh, yeah. oh, God Almighty! All he needs is like the the laurels around his head. Oh, God damn! Mm, good God! Good, great googly moogly! Great, uh, great, great, great. Googly moogly there. <laughs> I don't know, running, running bulldog is an awesome move. Yeah. I love, I used to love the, the bulldog off the top rope. Yeah, great stuff. Because does anyone do that anymore? Ah, uh, Boo Dallas does um, a running bulldog where he runs at the, the, the turn Climbs buckle. up and turns. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's nice as well. And yeah. it makes for a nice reversal too when they get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I remember one of the re- reversals in, I think it was No Mercy or WrestleMania 2000. To that was whenever they had jumped for the bulldog, you'd lift it up in like a reverse suplex. Yeah. And drop them on their back. Which, 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 you know, if they, Fucking great. yeah, amazingly to choreograph that, you know. Oh, superplex. No, he's going to reverse it. Is he going to reverse it? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The most wildly <laughs> reversed move in wrestling. Yeah, it's. I can't think. Other than other than the people's elbow, I can't think any move that is reversed more than a top rope superplex or yeah. a second rope. Yeah, or, or or someone who never does high flying moves going on the turnbuckle. Oh, uh, it's so it's, it's so false and forced and it's like oh, it's unusual to see. Uh... Yeah, they always point it out. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, don't it's it's bad. We oh all... oh, Fuck. did he eye gouge him? Yeah, I think That's so. Badass. Yeah, That's a great reversal. It, but it 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 did look like it was a botch until until you mentioned that he he, he guides him. So yeah, like he just left him up and went, "Oh man, I can't do this." Stone Cold's like, "Was he two feet back?" Is knackered. I can't. <laughs> She's that was that was a great bump by Brett as well. Yeah, and, yeah. And the Mystic because it was focusing on Stone Cold. Is that blood on the? This is it was a great. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Maybe from earlier. Uh, or somebody just spilled some uh, Dr. Pepper or something. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I'm afraid it's cancer. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck it, Dr. Pepper! Dr. Fuck! Pepper. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I can't, I'm trying to think of, of widely... I suppose, actually, the stunner would have been reversed Get a lot reversed as afraid. well. Yeah, I mean... People I, are the rock bottom when they'd, like, elbow, oh, elbow the in the face, yeah. Um, I suppose the pedigree never really got reversed that much the only thing like before he got his before he locked their hands yeah if, if they'd they grab it down and then like do some kind of a, a, a spine buster down, or, yeah. uh, or lift them over yeah yeah I suppose but even at that I mean it might have been just Triple H saying like we're not gonna reverse this yeah. either you take it and kick out or you don't but there will be no reversal <laughs> H <laughs> mouthing off to the guy Brilliant. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Jesus Christ! Oh, that was a great hell. bump by Brett earlier when he was on the um, he was on the apron, I think, and yeah. Austin like jumped onto the apron, hit the back of his head or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. the way he just slid out of the ring like mm. he'd been like <laughs> knocked shitless is yeah. really really good. I, I love that kind of turn to jelly, you know. It's like yeah. a it's like a cartoon. Oh fuck! Damn. <laughs> you see the results of face first into the steel, yeah. Yeah, there is no results. He's just knocked out. He's just lying on the floor. Yeah, like I mean, a normal person would. And yeah, a- actually, it'd be different if he was bust open. Although, seeing as I don't know, maybe, maybe, okay. maybe, maybe we'll get a wee bit of color here. Although I doubt it because it's not main event. Out he goes. Such a oh, is he going to leave? Is he going to try and leave? No, no, he's not. No. Oh, there you go. Elbow to the back of the head. Won't like that. Maybe that will cool your temper. 
<laughs> Give him a taste of the old ring post, huh? Or the, the barrier. Oh, hello! Oh, f- oh, oh. Most yeah. dangerous yeah. job <laughs> in professional wrestling, possibly. It's apparently more dangerous than working on an oil rig in a <laughs> third world country. <laughs> yeah, Spanish announcers. In fact, that was, I think that one of the guys that got busted there, one of the guys that got hit again in the red there, I think he still does Spanish announcing. Yeah, he's he's incredible because I think up to him, I think the average, um, I think the average lifespan of a Spanish announcer was something like, you know, they'd, they'd usually die at about 24, 25. <laughs> Just from Stone Cold related injuries. Yes, yeah, Stone Cold or, or uh, infected splinters, <laughs> gangrene. There was one of the uh, Spanish announcers who committed suicide. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's not that's not a joke or nothing. That's 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 straight up legit. Um, one of the Spanish announcers killed themselves. God, and I can't remember why. Well, obviously because of depression. You know, depression happens to everyone. Um, it's not like I can't like something happened in his life to cause him to do that. But I think it was out of the blue. Fuck. Mm, I know, I know. I'm trying to think. Is it? Is it other than Benoit, of whom we do not speak? Are there any wrestlers? Uh, I think it's Pillman. I think it's common enough because that's the kind of <sighs> you're probably it probably attracts the job attracts the kind of person who's you know it doesn't. I don't think it helps. In terms of uh, having a, a strong network of people you can rely on or yeah. support you, so you're on the road all the time, injured. Yeah, there's, pain, a, there's a big, there's a big macho. I suppose self-destructive behavior. Yeah, yeah. Like we've only got to look at Stone Cold. You know, I'm surprised he's not an alcoholic because he used to self-medicate an awful lot. Yeah, he probably was for a while. Or, you know. But he drinks now, though. So down. yeah, and, and, and it's not that all he talks about is boozing, but he he likes to talk about drinking. Yeah, yeah, and he, and he kind of looks back and, and he talks about it. He goes, "Oh, I'd drank a hell of a lot of whiskey, a hell of a lot of damn beer," you know. Yeah, and he's a big lad, so he's probably talking about a fucking twelve or fifteen and a half a bottle of whiskey a day or something crazy like that. Fuck yeah, yeah, or even a, a fucking ah, oh, Jesus, big fucker. Like could have been like. 24 bottles and a bottle of whiskey. Christ. Well, I'm going to go over um, the Wikipedia for professional wrestlers who committed suicide. Okay. And there's one here which is going to shock you, which I didn't know about until right now. Mike Awesome. Did not know that. Benoit. Uh, That one's fairly famous. A a guy called Brain Damage. No. Adam Firestorm. I don't know. No. Ed Ganter, Eddie Graham, Mike Graham. Don't I wonder if they're related. Tony Holm. Tony Holm? Don't know. No. Crash Holly. Fuck. Did not know Crash Holly killed himself. Uh, Chris Canyon. Fuck. Canyon killed himself. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Skull Murphy, Sean O'Hare, Sean Osborne, The Renegade, Larry Sweeney, Villano 2, Chris Von Eric, Kerry Von Eric, Mike Von Eric, Tojo Yamamoto, and Yukon Eric. You gotta, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's fucking tornado, isn't it? Hurricane. That's uh. No, he he died in eighty one. We're looking at Chris von Eric here because obviously there were three von Erics. The three brothers now. Sh- Jesus Christ! I think so. Yeah. Um. Oh, inability to make headway as a wrestler due to his physical build. He killed. That's Chris von Eric. That's his physical build. Oh, so he was just too short for... Yeah. Oh, oh, is Brett bust open his mouth? Bust uh, open? Too no, short no. for TV. Kerry Von Eric. Uh, yeah, that's the Texas Tornado, yeah. Yeah, Jesus. That was big. Um, the boxer's jaw. After the amputation of his foot, oh. he became addicted to... Okay, so one guy lost his foot. I wonder who lost his foot. Ah, uh, Tim White has completely lost the run of this match. Tim, we won't be having anything to do with you. Um, yeah, it just says after the amputation of his foot. <clears throat> That's a bit weird. He lost his foot, became addicted to... 
He was in the Hall of Fame, though. The, Va the Von Erich family should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Good God Almighty! They've gone mad with their Hall of Fame stuff, though, because they do so many wrestlers every year. That, like, yes. if they'd have been smart, they'd have been doing, like, ten a year. Yeah. And then, you'd like, it'd always be a big event and stuff, but they're just, like, when you, when you throw in, like, fucking 35 wrestlers a year. Yeah. Like, it'll get to the stage now where some fucker will have been in the WWF or WWE for a year, and mm -hmm. they'll have no choice but to add them just so they can do the fucking Hall of Fame show. And then the last one was Mike Von Erich, who um, was arrested on drink and drug charges, left a suicide note, and overdosed on sleeping pills and alcohol. God almighty. Not, not, not happy, not happy. Uh, the guy, the, the one before, um, the Texas Tornado, he was in a motorcycle accident, um, and he tried walking on his foot. He, 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 motorcycle accident, he broke his leg, tried walking on it prematurely. And then doctors, which is fucking scary. Like you know, you break your leg, you try walking on it prematurely, and then you end up losing it. Yeah. You know, like I broke, I broke my ankle a year ago, and uh, yeah, well, I was given one of those moon boots. Yeah, you know, but I probably should have rested it up a lot more than I actually did. Ah, you were pretty. I think you were pretty good. Yeah, it was only a fracture, but still, I mean, like... No, no, I mean, I don't think you were... Oh, fuck, what a fucking backbreaker. That was great. Hang on, Stone Cold, his tape's come off. Yeah. Normally, that's where he hides his blade. Yeah. So, um, I don't know whether he tried to blade earlier or... Yeah, that's what I was wondering as well. Oh, 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 you hurt your nuts. The baby hearts. <laughs> the cherubs. <laughs> Busting your hearts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could I get you this oh, time? Fucking hell. She's the crowd are going wild. That's intensity. It is, absolutely. Jeez, look at them. Jeez, they are going wild. Is he going, is he going to, is he going to do it? No, oh, he's, he's, he's up shouting again. Oh my god. Give him a hurricane runner. He, he, he is going, <laughs> he is going up very high. Fucking hell! Boom. Jesus Christ, that was... was a big Not only was it a big in, but... Oh, hello. Ooh, oh, fuck. Not only was it a big in, but he did not land far away from the turnbuckle. Yeah, a, lot, know? Of, a lot of vertical height. Yeah, but but not a lot. Like, I, I don't, like... That's it, that's it, that's it. So, we'll see how, like, how far he... Like, he, he just... Nah. See, he... Yeah. To me, that looks far more dangerous because... His his shoulder lands before his hips. Yeah. To me, that that just looks like it's going to be even more painful. Oh, stunner! Still, no one can can bump to the stunner as well as the Rock. The Rock used to just spring about the ring. Oh fuck! God Almighty! Like you're on the background shouting. Like she's going to the Hard Rock Cafe and she thinks she can just. You get at the front still does not. Is it gay? Still at the front, like I still see nothing new. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but I am so exquisitely <laughs> empty. <laughs> He's getting fed like stuffed, <laughs> stuffed voles <laughs> filled with garlic. <laughs> what other delicacies do you have? Is there anything still living? I would like to feast upon it. Oh my god, is he gonna that's not sharp? Texas obviously. clover leaf. Is it in? Is it applied? Oh god, oh my god, oh god. He could sink into that a little bit more, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, he probably could. Um oh, oh there he, he's there gone right go. down yeah, into it, I'd yeah, say that's yeah. fucking hurting, I'd say. I think I think that at the moment that that's not 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 that comfortable, but you know, he's like, yeah, it's a wee bit of pressure. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. But I'd say if he sat on it, that would be, you know, the weight of his entire body, and he's pulling back. You know, you, you could kill a man like that. Like, shit, like, for real. But that's it, you know, if you had the strength to put someone in that sort of thing while they're kicking and bucking, yeah, then there's probably easier ways to kill a man than, than doing something like that. Yeah, yeah. 
I think that's something that's going to change in the future. I think those kinds of like uh, sharpshooters, like it's great, like to watch and it's yeah. dramatic. But I think too many people will have done like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and uh-huh. it just won't be feasible to because it'll be like no, nobody. Oh, that is a great bump. Fuck. That know? ring post is steel. That's not padded. Fuck. I think I think that I mean. I don't know. I'm kind of of the mind that all wrestling moves should be done without any sort of pain to the wrestler anyway. Yeah. But submission moves, I think, I think that for the kids, they should be thick. Like the abdominal stretch. The old bow and arrow. Yeah. Fuck, I, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Austin do as many submission moves in a match. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, has he got him? Has he got him? Oh, yeah, you know, come on, Austin, you need, you need, no, you need to get out of this one. You can't let him get it first time. Oh, there he is. He's close to the ropes, though, isn't he? He is close, oh, yeah, he has, he hasn't put the submission in, though. No, I don't know, I mean, he hasn't put the submission in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't the, know you had to yeah stop the submission attempt. I thought you could put them in it and then give them five seconds of torture or whatever it was. But yeah, but then you weren't. Then you wouldn't be. Or maybe once you once you're touching the ropes, you're not allowed to touch the the opponent at all. But then yeah, Tim White should be blocking this in because like, they shouldn't be allowed to touch each other. Yeah. Oh fuck! It's a fucking great match, actually, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's really like. Is this as good as the WrestleMania? Probably not. It's. I mean, to be honest, it's it's not that far off. There's a bit more drama with that because, like, I think the people cared more about Austin yeah. at the time, uh-huh. and their feud had, their feud was pretty fucking pretty intense by that point. Whereas this one, although I think this probably went a long way to help him, Austin, mm. like this match. Is he going to do that? Feed up the turnbuckle? <laughs> Million dollar reversal. dream, did call that? Yeah, he is. He's going to feed up on the turnbuckle. There we go. Oh! Hey! Great finish. That was... That was, a, that was a, Did you know what was going to happen? I think I'd seen that before, or I think I'd seen him reverse it before. Right, okay, okay. I had a million dollar dream. Um, must be the... The sleeper hold? Hitman 316... <laughs> It's a, it's kind of a, a sleeper hold where you use their arm as well. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. I've had someone do it on me before. It's quite painful, I'll be honest. Jesus, look, look at Brett's chest. is massive. He is barrel-chested. Dude didn't skip... Uh, actually, gym. doesn't look like he skips legs either. He looks like he's fairly committed to his gym routine. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. <laughs> Stone Cold... He's, the fuck he's barely broken a sweat on his back so, look, look at that look, look. I mean he was dripping sweat from his face but it's got a bit of a cut he didn't get a chance to, to colour properly I don't think did he no, on, his, he on his head yeah there's a slight uh, there's a little slice on his forehead I think there but he didn't get a chance maybe to open it properly did he just say fuck <laughs> I think he fuck he <laughs> fucking hell he where's the cut on his forehead there yeah yeah I can see it now yeah Oh gosh! Is he eh? disappeared into the crowd, back into the shadows. <laughs> you know, Bret Hart, um, with it, with the kind of dedication he had, I think he could have been like, he could have been like a really serious academic. Yeah, with yeah. his drive and determination. Mm-hmm. But also, I think he would have been a pretty legit front man in a heavy metal band. He's got that look about him. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he does look like Ronnie James Dio. Looks like yeah, just a man who could. Could sing songs about like life on the road. <laughs> Here I am on the road again. Sabu and Taz on a picture there. Uh, yes, yes, Sabu and Taz. Um, just before we we give our our kind of background on on this. Gold dust. Gold dust. Super fun. <laughs> yeah. All dressed up. That's great. So good match, yeah. That was quality, yeah. High point was superplex for me. 
I thought the whole thing was was quite good. It was very steady. And oh, there's there's Vince. Long. As I said, heart and soul of the must be the WWF. Uh, it must be. Oh yeah. Um, although I don't know why that's the way that's blanked out, but the WWF in the corner isn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seems a bit silly. But yeah, it was it was pretty steady. I think they both went over. Neither one of them looked bad there. Yeah. The 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 finish was a bit cheap. I felt. I felt that Stone Cold could have kicked out of that. You know, it wasn't genuine enough. Yeah, I think he was like holding on though to the to the submission hold. I don't know. It's weird. Like there's some, you know, uh, like sometimes when they're in a figure four mm-hmm. and they count the pin while it's a submission hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about that before. Where if the the shoulders go down, then it'll be considered a a pin. Yeah. So it'd be better if like Austin had got up and started bollocking the referee. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know, and saying, like, ah, I had him in a hold. What are you mm-hmm. doing? Counting mm-hmm. count a pin on me. Yeah, yeah. But the, yeah, but I like the fact that he just went out of the ring and let Brett go over, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Hog- Hogan would never have done that. <laughs> Hogan would have fucking bust the guy open and then got in the chair, you know. Sobbed. You're, you're there to entertain people. You're not there to get yourself over. Yeah, some of them are pretty thick about it because they're... Because you look better if if you if you get someone over and then you beat that person, yeah, you look better and it's more exciting. Yeah, but everybody I think wants to be that guy who they they want to be they don't want to be putting other people over. They want them over, mm. but they don't want to be involved in putting them over. They want to be that guy who's undefeated and a Superman. Yeah, yeah. Sabu was like that. Sabu didn't like doing jobs. Yeah, because his uncle was the original Sheik, uh-huh. and he and he was like not the Iron Sheik, obviously. You done the job. <laughs> Nobody did job. He would job though. Yeah, but that's because he understood how wrestling works. Yeah. The original Sheik probably fucking didn't. And a lot of people like Bob Holly probably didn't either, you know. They were just in it because they were tough. Anyway, the next match is Farku, Vader, Razor Raman, Diesel versus Flash Funk, Jimmy Sneaky. Uh, Saliva Vega and Yoko. Oh. Yoko Ono. You ruined the Beatles, you vapid cunt. And that match is coming up next. 